So guys, I'm starting to figure out what I want to do in terms of my Christmas decorations for my background. I'm so excited, I finally got to say that sentence. Like, do I want to go all out and have like big like lights going down? Do I just want like a Christmas tree in the corner? Do I want to do the whole thing and have like a like an inflatable Santa? I don't know. The possibilities are endless. If you guys have any ideas, you let me know because I am so stoked right now. Hello everyone, I'm here today to do my two week drugstore haul update. If you guys watched my drugstore haul two weeks ago, I am here. I have some results, I want to share them with you guys. I have some really great products I'm excited to share with you guys, some products that were okay and some products that just did not work out really well for me. So without further ado, let's get into this. So first let's start with what I'm wearing on my lips right now because I'm in love with it. And that is the Maybelline Color Sensational Bold and this is in the color Smoking Red. Like, look at that, that is so pretty. <laughs> there is a huge color selection. They're super pigmented. They're nice and creamy on the lips. They glide on beautifully. They're probably not the most long wearing lipstick I've ever worn, but like any lipstick line, there are some that I really, really like, some that were like, eh, no, they're okay. Um, or just colors I just wouldn't wear. So I want to share, first of all, my favorites. Uh, one being, obviously, Smoking Red. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. Fine, go on the floor. So Smoking Red is a nice, rusty, deep red. Another one is Raging Raisin, which is actually very very similar to Smoking Red, except it has more of a plummy undertone. Very, very pretty for fall and winter. I also love Gone Gray, which is a gray toned nude taupe color. It's not like anything I've ever worn before on my lips, but very, very pretty. And then my last absolute favorite is Midnight Merlot, which I was wearing in last week's video where I did a winter haul for everything under 75 bucks. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful, deep Merlot shade. And then shades I wasn't particularly excited about. I just didn't love them either in formulation or color color. One is Movit. Just wasn't excited about it. The color just seemed a little bit off. It was too dark. I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan of this one. The other one is Rebel Pink and it just was a little bit chalky in terms of application. Didn't go on as smoothly as the Fuchsia one. And then Berry Bossy. It just again didn't go on as smoothly as some of the other deep shades that I really loved. And then Violet Vixen. Wasn't a shade I would wear on a very regular basis. Just a very very bright purple so again just wasn't something I was like super stoked to go out and wear but overall I really really like the line I think there's a ton of great selection and I really like the formulation so big thumbs up overall next up something that I did not like was the elf concealer I know I tried the one last time and I hated it and then I tried this one and again I didn't like it it wasn't terrible it just wasn't my favorite concealer out there I think there are better ones for me at least um, personally I found it to be a little bit dry in terms of application, especially for under the eyes. I like things to be a little bit wetter in application. I find that they just go on a lot smoother. And then it dried down and was a little bit too dark for me. I thought it would honestly be a really good match, but when it dried down under the eyes, I was like, oh, Nope, not even a little bit. So that was a little disappointing. And so overall, I just wasn't super, super impressed with this. Next up is the Milani palette. And this is their must have naturals everyday eyes palette and has a great selection of shades here. A lot of great natural nude shades for everyday wear. You can smoke it up with some of the darker shades here. I was really, really excited to try this, especially after swatching some of these nice highlight shades. Overall, I want to say that most of the shades in here, I really liked. I really love this base shade, even as an inner corner highlight shade, as well as what they call their specialty shade, which is another word for the inner corner of the eye shade. The only thing I did not like about this palette is this black shade right here. It is super chalky, it's more gray than black, it's not very creamy at all, and so it was really hard to get even just a nice sort of smoky lash line sort of effect. So that shade was a complete bust for me. I did not like it. The rest of the palette's really nice, so if you aren't planning on wearing any sort of black shadow in any way, shape, or form, it's probably a nice palette, but that shade overall was a Next up, another thing from Milani, and this is their blush, and a lot of people talk about their blushes, and this one is the Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. It's this beautiful creamy peachy shade that has a bit of a golden sheen to it. It is insanely flattering on the skin. It is very pigmented though. I just want to give you a heads up. I kind of like dusted my brush and it wasn't paying attention. I put it on, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of blush, Rachel. So just keep that in mind. A little bit will go a long way, but I really, really like this product. Another product that was like, okay for me, it was my favorite, but like I didn't hate it either, um, is the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Palette. This contains a palette filled with very nice foiled shadows. All of them are foiled. There are no matte shades in here. So that's something that I 
personally don't like about palettes. I like having one matte shade, at least for the crease. That way you can just pack one palette and be done with it and you don't have to have like fiddle with a whole bunch of different palettes. When I put them onto the eyes, you can definitely see the foiled effect. Apply them wet, they're even more intense. They're really, really pretty. They pick up shadows really nicely and they go on the eyes really nicely. I did not like these two shades over here. They were very chalky, they weren't pigmented, they weren't going onto the eyes really nicely. Just, ugh, I just wasn't a big fan of them overall. If you like more of these taupey brown, deeper shades and you're looking for something that's on the cheaper end, it's really, really pretty, but these shades in particular, not a big fan of. For the Milani lipsticks, I was really excited to test these out because many of you in the comment section were telling me how they were your absolute favorites and the pigmentation and the formulation is just incredible. So stoked to try them. And unfortunately for me, I just wasn't a big fan of them at all, especially comparing them right up against the Maybelline Bolds collection. It was not even close for me. I will say I did like Teddy Bear. It was a very pretty shade and a little bit more creamy than the other two, um, but it just didn't, I, I just wasn't super excited about these other ones that I got. And maybe it's just the shades. Maybe there are other shades out there that are just way better in terms of formulation, um, but then it's just not a consistent line for me. If there are shades within this collection that you really like, let me know, because I would love to try out some other ones. Maybe there's some ones that are just like awesome, awesome products, but just be careful, just a heads up, they're not very consistent in their formulation. Now I wanna compare two products that were very, very similar, at least in my opinion, one being the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne versus the Milani Illuminating Face Powder in Hermosa Rose. These both ended up looking very similar on the face, both very pretty and I like them, both as standalones, especially when I'm on the paler end of things, they're very, very pretty. The Milani one in particular looks much more bronzed on the skin if you have paler skin. I think this would be a good option for you if you want something that's a little bit more subtle to add a nice glow to the cheeks. Um, but I was also pairing it with more of a warm tone blush to add a bit of a nice golden -y sheen. And it was very pretty there too. It's very sheer, it's very buildable, both are really nice. I don't have a preference one way or another. They're both really gorgeous colors and um, yeah, really like them. Now onto the Marcel face cream, which was the only skincare product I actually got within this entire drugstore haul. This was very nice. It's, it's hard for me to talk about skincare because it's only been two weeks and I'd like to give it a little bit more time before I talk about skincare and like really go in depth. Do I like it so far? Yes. I love the fact that I can use one product over my entire face, under the eyes, on the face, day and night. It's great. It does feel nice and hydrating on the skin without being thick and greasy. It sits well with makeup, which is really nice as well. In terms of seeing any sort of anti-aging benefits or anti-fatigue benefits, I'm going to say it's a little bit too early to be able to tell. I want to give it a little bit more time before I can actually um, make that kind of a call but as of right now it feels really nice on the skin I am enjoying using it and I will continue to use it and if I see any really positive benefits I'm gonna let you know about it now on to a product I was not excited about at all and that is the wet n wild gold thing gold eyeshadow gold cream eyeshadow I don't know it was terrible it's supposed to be a chunky gold glitter that you can apply to the eyes to get that really strong shiny gold fabulous effect on the eyeballs and I was super stoked because I was like oh it's supposed to be creamy so it'll be more pigmented and you'll be able to see that glitter and you can just put it on and one and done and you're good no not so much and it seems like I'm not the only one who who had that kind of experience. I was looking through the comments in the drugstore haul and a lot of you guys were like, mm, not so good, Rachel. I applied it to the lids. It is very chunky. It does not have any other gold color in it, which I wish it did. I wish it was like a gold based pigment and then they put the glitter in it. Then at least you have like this full fabulous wash of gold on the lids that you can apply. And when it dries, it's fallout onto the eyes. It's just, ugh, I just did not like this product at all. And I do not think that it's worth the money. And lastly is the Rimmel London Scandalize Reloaded Mascara. This is supposed to be big, extreme volume for the lashes. And just for me, it was, it felt like, like a normal mascara. It was nice. It wasn't my favorite. It wasn't the worst. It just, I don't know. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, but I wasn't happy with how much volume there was. It just didn't, it felt a little bit lacking in that department. So I layered on top of it my favorite, um, that I talked about my October favorites, the one by The Balm. It's, it's amazing. It's The Balm. But this one just didn't do it for me. It wasn't the blackest, thickest, craziest mascara I've ever used. It was fine. It was a good everyday mascara, I feel, for like a good little bit of volume, but it just wasn't like my absolute favorite. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love drugstore hauls and hauls in general. I will be doing a Sephora one next. 
I don't know when, but I will. So if there are any products out there that you guys want me to test, leave them in the comment section below so I know. And if you have any requests for videos, let me know. As always, I do new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to check out my Rachel Loves Life channel. I am doing new videos every Saturday in case you guys missed it. I have a ton of content already up there. I hope you guys are loving it. Don't forget to subscribe. And that's everything. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful week so far. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.